Hello, it's fall 2020 and it's time to start looking for some mushrooms. Today I'm going to be looking for chanterelle mushrooms. And first of all, we've seen quite a bit of rain, so there should be no problem finding mushrooms. I've waited till about seven days after we've had our first bit of rain, and now we're getting a lot more rain in the last few days. So, what you want to look for, old logging roads, overgrown woods, pretty much where you can get through the trees and walk around a bit. First of all, you're going to see moss, thick moss, ferns, salau. But that's what we're going to attempt to do is look for mushrooms. So hopefully I can find chanterelle mushrooms in here. They're bright orange and they're easy to see. Okay, I found my first chanterelles of fall 2020 driving down the road here. I happen to look into the woods. This is what you do to find them sometimes. But I seen some so I stopped, parked. I'm going to come in here and show you what they look like. They're basically small button form right now. Okay, there's one right here. There's a small group right there. There. There, and then some small buttons up above here everywhere. So I'll know to come back here a little later to get them. If I find some bigger ones, I wanna show you exactly what they look like, what to look for, that's all. Okay, so I found some bigger chanterelle mushrooms right here. And what I'm going to do is cut the one off. This one here is rotting, so I'm going to cut this one. This is old. So I'm going to pull this and or I'm going to cut it. And I'll show you what it looks like. Hang on. All right, when you cut these chanterelle mushrooms, you want to cut them off, leaving the roots in the ground. This helps more mushrooms come back in the future. All right, so what you wanna look for is bright orange, check. White stem, check. Solid stem, check. And then if you look at the gill patterns right here, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna get it really close. You'll see they're flat. You'll see they branch off like blood vessels. And not all of them have this, but they do cup. A lot of them do cup like that. And it's very, very firm stem. Later on, when this is sitting in the bag, this will turn bright orange. Same as this color. So that's another tall tale sign you have yourself a nice chanterelle. And that's it. Okay, while well, I was driving along, I happened to look out the window and I seen another type of mushroom that people collect. I've actually canned some of these when they were fresh. These look like they're beginning, the beginning stages of being very fresh. They're known as chicken of the woods. And what I'll do, step out of the rig, and I'll walk over there, and we'll take a peek at them. They're not very big, these get big. But when you find them small like this, that means they're fresh growth. So let's see about getting them. I'm gonna show what they look like. Bright, bright orange. And they grow off of old dead stumps, as you can see, old dead stump. So I'm going to set this down, and I'm going to see about, seeing how fresh they are, if I can get a good spot for the video camera. All right, get the sticks out of the way, get the knife, and we'll cut them off the edge there. I'm going to flip them over. See how bright yellow they are? See how orange they are? Now, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they have... Well, little lines in them, oranges and yellows. And these are fresh. They're very small. You're going to get them the size of basketball sometimes. So, when you put these in a bag and they've sat a little while, they smell like honeydew nectar. Anyway, these are very fresh chicken of the woods. People love them. I found them in the past when I was first starting out getting them. And to me... I thought they were the newest, greatest thing because I've heard people talk about them. But I got old ones and they tasted, well, the texture of it was like cardboard, chewing on cardboard. So, anyway, there you go, chicken of the woods. Okay, so I've waited one week 
roughly to look for mushrooms again after we had some heavy rains. And what I'm going to do is attempt to find some mushrooms. This area here is a favorite spot of mine because I've come here every year and I've found mushrooms. So let's see what I can do here. I'm looking along the Salau. That dog there is known as Snowball. So, oh, I see some. All right, let's see what I got here. Oh, yes. There's some in there. I don't know how how many there are, but we'll take a peek under the brush here and see how fresh they are. There's one there, there, and there. Before I pick these, I'm going to tell you about how these mushrooms spread. Sometimes a slug will eat them, and then when the slug's moving along, it'll drop the spores. So when you find one, definitely circle around the whole area and look for more. Sometimes it's just one because they're early. Sometimes you'll find 10 pounds all in one area. So here we go. Take and get this mushroom here. No, this one's a little old. This one here. I'll cut them first and then take a look at them here. So this is fresh. It has a nice white stem. Nice veins that spread out. They're flat. Okay, I'll set that one down. This one here is fresh. It's known as a button. And then this one here is old. It's all squishy and, and uh, you know, it's a little white in the middle, but it's just starting to go. So we're not going to keep it. Anyway, on to the next. Okay, I found my next batch. There's just two or three there. There's some older ones over here from probably the middle of the summer. Right now we're almost to the end of September. So I'll cut these, see what we have here. This one's still good. There's two more here. Hold the knife. And that one's good. That one's good. So on to the next. So when I get in here and go looking for mushrooms, sometimes I use a little old crusty, dirty bike. Found it at a thrift shop for 30 bucks. So me and Snowball have been back there a ways and now we'll get out to the rig and look for a, another spot to go looking for mushrooms or we'll go look for, at the mushrooms we seen last week. So see if they got any bigger. That's all. Okay, driving along the road, I actually seen a small patch of chanterelles. There's some buttons right here, and there's one decent one right here. So, I'll cut it, and get her out of there. Yep, sometimes you find them half hidden into the dirt. Not bad. Okay, it's fall 2020 and I'm out looking for mushrooms again. It's kind of a nice day. Anyway, we've had our first frost up in the hills and usually in the fall after a first frost, I start finding these mushrooms called shaggy manes. Now these shaggy manes, some people call them inky caps or whatever they want to call them. These two here are pretty good shape. So are a few here, there. But when you get to these that turn inky, like this one, I'll just pop it. You don't really want to eat it. They're toxic. They they can uh, get your stomach all upset. Anyway, the ones you want to pick are the ones where the bell has not opened up. So what we're going to do is show you one. All right, so we'll pick this one here. Popped on its own. See how the bell hasn't opened up? These are going to be really good. They go good in spaghetti. And you could fry them in butter, but otherwise, really good eating. Some people, they just have a slight toxicity too. I've grown up on these. If I've eaten them where they're slightly inky, I do get an upset stomach. So you want to pick them where the bell has not opened up yet. Anyway, so I'm going to pick a bunch. Make Probably put them in spaghetti or fry them in butter. There's three here that I can still get. There's four or five over there. There's probably a total of 15 here that I can harvest. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, I ended up picking 15 where they haven't popped open yet and gone to ink. 
So these will be good eating in the frying pan, maybe with some eggs, and garlic, butter. Pretty good eating. That's all. Well, I'm on the edge of a logging road, and I've been peeking into the woods every now and then to see if I can find a chanterelle. And I did, but I wanted to show you, this is on a ridge. So either side of this ridge where this logging road is, it's just steep terrain. Anyway, there we go, a nice chanterelle. Of course, it started breaking up because of the twigs and branches being in the way. But it shouldn't be too hard to harvest. Looks like a nice big one again. Alrighty, it'll be broken up a little bit, but it's a nice chanterelle. So just pull some of the weeds out of the way. Yep, there it is. It'll need a little cleaning, but otherwise it's perfect. Well, just after I had spoke last and found that one, I actually got into a bonanza of them down this steep hill. So I've been kind of going along the edge, looking off the edge and finding groups. Here's another four. Three out of the four are probably good. So if I keep skirting the hillside here, I'll find more. So far I probably have about a pound of chanterelle mushrooms. And I'm out of breath from climbing up and down. Alright. Anyway, almost all the way back to my truck, which is up there. I actually believe I found some more chanterelles where I don't have to do a bunch of hillside climbing. Once I get in here, they might be going downhill. But in the meantime, I seen them just as I was walking. I see one right here. Three or four over there. Three right here. And I don't see anything else. So I'll get them and then I'll show my bag after I'm done. Now that I made it out of the hillside and I'm back at my truck, that's a good haul. So I believe this is good enough for a video. I believe I'm done. So in this video I found shaggy manes, chicken of the woods, and chanterelles. I don't really know a lot about a lot other mushrooms, so I just kind of have to take what I know. Maybe later I'll learn more about some of these uh, other mushrooms like the bolites, king bolites, blue staining bolites, things like that, and see which ones are edible, if not all of them. There's also slimy bolites. I found them, I just don't know enough about them. Alright, until next time, signing out. If you like any of my videos, please smash the like or just subscribe, and it'll go a long way in helping me with making more videos. I am trying for 100 subscribers for 2021 and shooting for the moon in 2022.